Hi there, welcome to edupediaworld.com. You are watching the videos on constructions. Now in this video, we will discuss some of the basic concepts related to construction. Let's say how we can draw the perpendicular bisector or bisector of any line or angle or how we can construct an angle, basic angles, so that we can use this concept to draw the more advanced concepts of construction like triangles or any figures we need to draw. So let's get started with the first topic. Okay, now first topic says we need to construct the bisector of a given angle. Now, first of all, we need to do the steps. First step is, let's say, this is A and this is B and this is C. Now, taking B as center, so we need to take B as center and any radius, let's say, we have a compass like this and let's say this is a pointed end and this is a pencil then we need to open an arc of any compass of any length right and draw an arc taking b as a center so let's say we draw an arc like this right now it intersects the ray ba at e and bc at d respectively now taking d and e as centers then let's say Taking D and E as center, let's say we measure the arc like this, opening this much length. Whenever we need to draw the bisector of an angle, we need to open and compass either the full length of an arc or a line or it should be more than half the length of an arc or the length of a line. So you should always keep in mind whenever we need to draw a bisector, we need to follow these rules very strictly. Okay, now let's say we open and our length more than half of this arc DE so let's say till, till over here now taking D as center we draw point or cut or an arc over here and another taking E as center now we draw another arc over here right so these two arc intersect at a point right now let's say we pass a line to this point like this okay now this becomes the bisector of an, an angle so this is how we can draw a bisector of an angle right now let's say this we point we mark this point as f now, so now let's say we join these two Okay, now, so another point, another step in construction is whenever you draw a construction, you need to justify the construction. So what do you mean by justification? Justification means you need to justify the construction you have drawn using congruency or the concepts or the any logical reasoning you can apply, but you need to justify the construction you have drawn. It should justify like you need to prove that the construction you have drawn is correct using congruency right so let's see how we can prove or justify this construction now so let's say consider it's a triangle B E F and triangle B D F right so in this triangle we can say that this equals to this because with taking B as center there they are the radius of the same arc right so we can say that BE equals to BD they are the arcs of same radii right then we can say that EF is equals to DF same reason we can say that EF equals to DF again they are not same because they are on the arcs of same radii right then we can say that BF equals to BF it's a common side so we can say that triangle BEF is congruent to triangle BDF by SSS side 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 so we can say that by CPCT this angle is equals to this angle so we can say that angle EBF is 
equals to angle D B F by C P C T. So this is how we can justify our construction. So the justification was bisector of an angle. So we have proved that this angle is equal to this angle. So this means B F the ray bisects the angle B or E B D. So this is how we can justify the construction. So let's move on to the next concept which is now. So in this concept we need to construct a perpendicular bisector of a given line. Not just a bisector, it should be perpendicular bisector. So let's say how we can prove this now. So let's say we have a line like this. So let's say mark A B. Now again we need to draw taking A and B as center and radius more than half the AB. So we need to draw bisector. So we need to open more than half the length of AB. So let's say we open till here. Then taking B as center, we draw a cut over here and taking B again over here. Then taking A as center, we draw another cut over here like this and B or again A as center, we draw another cut over here like this. Then we join these two intersecting point. So this is how we can draw the bisector of any given line. So let's say we mark this as point P and this as Q and this as M. Right? Now, so now the next step is we can say that PMQ is a bisector or perpendicular required perpendicular bisector of a AB means PMQ bisects a line AB perpendicular means this angles should be 90 degree now we need to justify our construction so let's say how we can justify this our construction so what you need to do is we need to draw like this line like this right and like this and then like this now so first of all we need to consider triangle APQ and triangle PBQ right so in this triangle we can say that AP equals to BP why because they an arc of same radii right and we can say then AQ equals to BQ same reason they are an arc of same radii we can say right then we can say that PQ equals to PQ why because it's a common side right so we can say that triangle APQ is congruent to triangle PBQ by SSS right so we can say that this angle is equal to this angle by CPCT so we can say that angle APM is equal to angle BPM by CPCT right now now what you need to do is you need to consider triangle A P M and triangle B P M right so in this triangle again we can say that A P equals to B P you can say then arcs of same radii right and we can say that angle A P M is equals to angle B P M we have proved it right and then we can say that PM equals to PM it's a common side right so we can say that triangle A P M is congruent to triangle B P M by SAS right so we can say that then AM 
equals to BM by CPCT. So this means this side is equals to this side. Now this proves that PMQ only bisects the line AB. Now we need to prove that it's a perpendicular bisector, right? Now as we all know that AB is a line, so we can say that angle PMA plus angle PMB should be equal to 180 degree. Why? Because they form a linear pair. Means this angle plus this angle should be equal to 180 degree. Now, however, these two angles are equal by CPCT because we have proved that these two triangles are congruent. So we can say that angle PMA is equals to angle PMB by CPCT, right? So we can say that then each angle is 90 degrees. So we can say that angle PMA equals to angle PMB is each 90 degree. So now it proves that or justifies that PMQ is a perpendicular bisector of this line. So this is how we need to justify our construction. So let's move on to the next and the last concept on the construction in this video. So in this construction we need to construct an angle of 60 degree at initial point at any given ray. So it's a very basic concept. So let's learn how we can do this then. Okay. Now, So first we need to draw a line like this. Then let's say we mark this line as A and B. Then what we need to do is we need to again open a compass of any arc. So let's say this is a pointed end and this is a pencil end. So we need to open arc any length. So let's say with A as center we draw an arc like this right and with the same length from this as center. So let's say this is a D again taking D as center with the same arc of same length the compass should not be disturbed or tilted. We draw an arc over here let's say like this right and let's say this point is E. Now let's say what we need to do is we need to pass a line through A and E right. So this is how we can draw the angle of 60 degree. Now the this angle, let's say this angle and let's say this mark. So this angle, angle CAB will be 60 degree. So this is how we need to draw the angle of 60 degree. Now we need to justify our construction. So let's say we draw a line like this. Now if you see properly with taking A as center, we have drawn length like this. So these should be equal because they are on the same arc. Again, we have not, we, we didn't disturb any compass. We kept the arc or the length of a compass same with, with the D and E. So this means this should also be equal because the arc, arc is same because we have not disturbed the compass. So we can say that AE equals to AD equals to ED means all the three sides are equal, right? So when all the three sides are equal, then it's an equilateral triangle. So we can say that triangle AED is an equilateral triangle, right? So in equilateral triangle, all sides are equal and each and every angle is equal. So we can say that each angle is 60 degree means this angle and this angle and this angle is 60 degree. Why? Because in equilateral triangle, each and every angle is equal. So the each angle is always 60 degree in an equilateral triangle. So this is how we can justify our construction whenever we draw a construction. So thank you once again for watching this video on edupediaworld.com. Keep watching for the videos. Have a nice day.